Okay, just make yourself comfortable now. If you want to close your eyes, that's a good idea. But if you don't, that's fine too. Now you can just listen quietly to the sound of my voice. And of course, you'll be aware of all those other sounds too. Sounds inside the building, sounds from outside. But these won't disturb you. In fact, they are going to help relax you. Because the only sound you need to think about is the sound of my voice. And while you're listening to the sound of my voice, you can just simply allow yourself to be as lazy as you could ever want to be. And as you allow yourself to relax even more now, I wonder if you can perhaps sense the beating of your own heart, sensing the beat of your heart, and just seeing whether you can use the power of your mind to slow that heartbeat down, just a touch, just seeing whether you can use the power of your mind to slow that heartbeat down, just a little so that you can then feel your whole body slowing down, becoming lazier and lazier, because you've got absolutely nothing whatsoever to do, except to relax now. Nobody wanting anything, nobody expecting anything. So you can allow your whole body to continue to relax, and become steadier and easier, until it's just taking over like a well-maintained machine some sort or another, just taking over, smoothly, easily, quietly, comfortably, so that you can become gradually more aware of your whole self, aware of your hands and arms, just sensing how they are now, aware of your legs and feet too, again, just sensing how relaxed they might be, and wondering possible to relax them even more. To be so in touch with yourself, you can actually get your whole body, perhaps, to relax even more, yet remain totally alert and noticing now that even your face muscles can begin to really relax, relaxing and letting go of the tensions that were there, almost, but not quite, completely unnoticed. Just being vaguely aware of the skin and the muscles of your face settling, smoothing out, a good feeling. Wondering just how long all that tension had been there, where it all came from in the first place, and then realizing that you simply couldn't care less. Because you can feel it draining away from you now, and that feels good. And as you continue to sense the beating of your heart, and the absolute steadiness of your body's rhythm, you wonder at the fact that you are so absolutely relaxed and comfortable that you simply can't be bothered to even try to move one single muscle, even though you know you easily could if you wanted to. I know that you easily could if you wanted to, but you simply can't be bothered to even try, allowing yourself to just be relaxed and relaxing even more now, as lazy and relaxed as anyone could ever wish to be. And I wonder if you can now manage to relax even more, even though you are already as relaxed as it is possible for most people to ever be. Just finding those last tiny traces of tension in your body and simply letting them go with each easy, Gentle breath you breathe. I'm going to count down from five, and with each layer, you find yourself falling deeper and more relaxed. Five, you are just so relaxed, you feel yourself going even deeper. Four, you feel yourself slipping a little bit more. Three, oh, such a relaxed state. Such an enjoyable state. Two, just continue listening as your mind slips into a nice, deep trance. One, empty of everything as everything has faded away. Allowing every muscle, every fiber, every cell of your entire body to be as beautifully relaxed as anyone could ever.
And now that your mind is calm and clear, just gradually relax as everything unimportant fades away for a short while. We're just going to be watching a little play, a play about you and your mind and your body. Relax and enjoy as these words just slip slowly, deeply, down under your skin, making it so much easier to feel the sensations they talk about in place of what you usually feel, to see the images they speak of in place of what you usually see, and somewhere deep in the back of your mind, you know what these words speak of even before they are spoken. Words of intelligence, introversion, organization, and order filling your mind. You feel curious and inquisitive and a love for books and knowledge. Just let yourself relax into them as you feel the changes slowly, surely wash over you. You can hear the scribbling of the examiner's pencils, the clock ticking. You can see clouds floating by in the near window. You feel so nervous. The rest of your life rides on this very test. But you feel as if you will not pass. You try and fail. It leaves you dejected. But then you are suddenly startled. You feel something welling up in you, igniting the untapped magic within you. The fierce heat of your horn, the examiners taken by absolute surprise as they are levitated by a violet cloud while your eyes begin to glow brilliant white, touching you in a very, very special way. You are in your element. Control is what you need. You are truly magical. Feel as your fingers and your toes begin to grow numb. A nice, warm, tingling feeling, starting at the tip of your fingers and toes, then spreading upward, slowly, deeply penetrating into your being. As the numbness continues to spread, you observe that your skin begins to take on a more elastic form, stretching out, your fingers beginning to melt into one, forming web-like connections of skin, muscle, and nerve between your fingers. As they continue to smooth together, their tips becoming shinier and harder like fingernails, a sturdy yet smooth covering as they become your new hooves. As they merge together, four, then three, then two, until all that remain are your beautiful hooves. As the bones in your legs twist and bend, painlessly fusing together to give you the hind legs of a pony, so hard to stand on two legs anymore, you don't even want to bother trying, just letting the changes relentlessly progress. So easy to just give in and let your body and mind get what they desire, as your arms, too, undergo a similar, unstoppable action. They reform, developing, changing, so that you can comfortably stand on four legs. Feelings of power, of sharpness and brilliance. You realize how magical you really are. Second to none. Overly ambitious, you tend to let small things get the best of you, especially since you pay great attention to detail, sometimes maybe a little too much. Even total strangers know of your works. You like to feel validated, to always be the best, even if it drives you to the brink of insanity. 
You take pride in getting the grade. The praise of your mentors, nothing else matters, except the companionship of your friends, whom you find fascinating and learn so much from. It's like drugs to you. Your knowledge is vast. The love between you and your friends is all but unbreakable. You always want to learn something new. Disappointing your mentors leaves you devastated. There's a passion, an absolute ecstasy that fills your heart to truly be like and be a pony. Smart and introverted, quick and calculating. It feels like something completely and totally natural to you, as simple as breathing, in and out. Studious, skeptical, organized. These are strange sensations, different from what you normally feel in daily life. But at the same time, you feel a happiness, an understanding that somewhere in your mind. You do indeed enjoy these changes. Something about them calms your nerves, soothes your senses, to where it feels so easy and right to just let them come onward. Feel as the changes pass over your rear, slowly causing it to expand, becoming softer, fuller, rounder. Your legs are only slightly wider apart. It does feel somewhat good, deep down in your mind, for your body to experience these changes, different from daily life, but welcome all the same. Another quick twinge of energy shoots to the base of your spine, creating a nub that extends out for a foot or two, taking on the partial shape. Of a parabolic curve, once formed, soft silken hair bursts forth from it, like the curve of a quill feather. You feel a slight shiver down your entire spine, as a violet highlight extends from its base to the tip of your newly formed tail, making you happy. You feel the heaviness, making you feel more sturdy and balanced. Safe and secure, you wouldn't know what to do without it. Although it takes a little effort to hold your tail up at first, it quickly becomes second nature. You swish it back and forth, getting used to the new sensations. An expressive pony tail to complement your new pony backside. You can't help but wonder what will come next. As the change creeps ever closer to your head, passing over your neck, as your voice becomes a more sociable, friendly, and bright feminine voice, feel as the hair on your head spills outward, growing longer, softer, down the back of your neck and over your new pony shoulders. A lovely, flowing purple mane for you to wear with pride. Just a bit in front of your ears, on the center of your forehead, you feel a small bump forming. This is the beginning of your new horn. As it starts to grow, you remember a story. That first time you ever saw Celestia raise the sun, you were left in awe by the summer sun celebration. It was then that you decided to devote your entire life to studying the magical arts. You poured yourself into learning everything you could about magic. It was only a matter of time before your parents enrolled you in Princess Celestia's School for Gifted Unicorns. All of your dreams were coming true. The fateful day of your entrance exam. The feelings of elation when the princess herself took you on as her personal protege. The horn going steadily from your head, a beautiful, powerful unicorn horn, 
extending to its tip, erupting in a small shower of sparks. The word fills you with a twinge of excitement as it continues to grow until it is eventually fully formed with a slight spiral to its features, a spiral of unicorn horn, just as you've always visualized, just as you've always wanted. I wonder if you could feel a tingling from your new horn, feel its power surge deep in your mind, coming to you so effortlessly. As the change comes to pass over your head, your horn awakens. Your ears are enveloped in a soft purple glow. You are ecstatic. This is your next chance to learn a new spell, body modification. You concentrate hard, wanting your attempt to be a success at the very first try. You visualize yourself checking an item off of one of your long checklists. You know from reading that optimistic thoughts and a positive outlook can have a great impact on the effectiveness of magic. You now shift your focus to your ears, your eyes on the prize. The glow of your horn begins to brighten softly, slowly at first, before your ears begin to disappear in a blazing, bright purple fog. Your head begins to feel hot with the increased glow. With your intimate focus, you hardly notice the sounds that you used to hear. They briefly fade away, only for a short while. You now concentrate on the next step, in position. Thinking to yourself, you visualize exactly on how you want your new ears to be formed. Soft, velvety, plush fur. They feel warm and cozy. You imagine them shooting up from the top of your head. As you focus in a dim flash of light, your new ears phase into existence. A great success worth writing to the princess for. You have mastered this spell. One more to add to the long, long list. These are your new ears. You now wiggle them about. Your curious nature aroused as you pick up those new, crisper, clearer sounds. They are covered in a soft, lush, violet fur that warms and comforts you as they move to catch the slightest noise around them. When you are happy or interested in something, they will be perky and upright. When you are sad or tired, they will lay to the side. It feels so delightful, absolutely amazing, to be scratched behind your new pony ears. To accompany this new set of ears, you feel soft yet firm pulling sensation in your mouth as your jaw pulls outward into your new muzzle. Your face extends out to so naturally form your lovely head. You can feel your eyes changing with your head, extending out so gently, your iris changing color to a lovely lavender tint, your eyelashes growing out steadily, lengthening into lovely feminine lashes. I wonder if you could bat them ever so gently feeling those soft, gentle lashes on your skin. A lovely pony head or a smart pony. A tickling sensation spreads over every facet of your skin as you feel soft, short fur covering your entire body, leaving you with an entire equine form and coat. A lovely violet unicorn. Already, your mind feels such thoughts filling it, relaxing it. You're feeling a bit skeptical, 
but enthusiastic, curious of your new body, but enjoying it nonetheless. Even as you speak, the voice is a feminine one, showing no hints of who you used to be. You can feel your new body, see your new body, imagine all the sensations as you walk around on your hooves, the four-legged gait and swishing tail and pointed ears, the beautiful, powerful horn, and studious, friendly, organized feelings, the curved muzzle and smooth fur, all yours to enjoy and play in. And you know that you can go back to this state any time you choose. All you have to do is speak one little phrase. I'm a smart pony. And whenever you say, I'm a smart pony, you will feel every change I described here return to the surface, changing you back to the smart little pony from the person you were instantly. For the changes you've made are always here. They're now a part of you, as much a part of you as your heart and mind. And there may be times when you can't be the smart little pony, when the person you were may be required for some reason or another, and when you know that will be the case for you, then all you need is one little phrase. Revert to normal. And whenever you say, revert to normal, every change here will melt away, going dormant until the next time you can be the smart little pony you truly want to be. And every time you return to this state by saying, I'm a smart pony, it'll feel even more natural for you, your desire to be the little pony becoming stronger and stronger. With every visit, the desire to listen seeming more and more inescapable, more attractive with each trip to the body and mind of this smart pony. And now, now it is time to wake back up. Waking up on the count of five, you'll find that with each number, you'll wake up a little bit more. The sensations of your new pony body and mind just becoming that much stronger. One, waking up now. Two, more and more. Three, consciousness returning. Four, almost there. Five, refreshed and awake. And I hope you'll enjoy, little pony. <laughs>